welcome. The great war continues. Glorious man, which one sought to bring peace and harmony to the world has come under attack from the Erythians. happened since the last episode. The main thing is that they've dispelled both Gale Gate and Earthblood Deepwell. I did not put enough magic extra gems into it. So that hurts a lot. That hurts a lot. But, um, it's not the end of the world. Um, I think we're still doing okay. We have our first vampire as of this turn. Logos. Um, and we're just gonna get him blood hunting on this. Well, what happened here? It looks like there's a flood. We're just gonna get him blood hunting on this 40,000 man province. Is there a flood? on my mind for this turn is whether or not to save my air gems and have Thuella here cast Gale Gate again and this time put like tons of gems into it or just get the elemental queens out the queens of air out and I think I'm going to go with the latter having these queens uh, I'd rather have the queens and then try to cast Galegate and fail and have it dispelled again than cast Galegate again and not have the queens. Yeah, so I think we're gonna get, we're gonna play it safe. We've got both of the Earth Kings and we're gonna get Father Ill Earth. Vampires coming out. Um, what else is new? We've been we've been sight searching. I think once I free up some hammers, maybe I should just make it. So we'll get more Ivy Kings. We don't really need 
fairy court because we have air so we're good on that and then really the only thing left to talk about then is just uh, we're taking over the, the caverns pretty easily he's not, he's not really putting up a fight so I think one thing that we'll do is lock down this entire cavern system Lock down the cavern system, then we can take these thrones and pieces to go play some gems. There are one, two, three thrones down here. So that'll be good. Um, Erythia seems to be pretty dormant. I'm shifting some troops down here to TNG to hold this front and then maybe start pushing in. We got some like gold events, so I'm just It's not like there are a ton of provinces in here. This, this grand, is this a grand citadel by the way? No, I want you to construct No, it's not. We might want to make that a grand citadel. Think about that. It might be a waste of money, but, well. Everything in here should be reinforced. It's more like over here. This is sort of reinforcing that though. what happens if it gets interrupted though. Well, let's just see. Because if this is a Grand Citadel, then I think he literally will never be able to take that. And this is like a, a linchpin and a huge province. Um, and with that, I'm pretty sure that's about it. Uh, just recruiting, researching, use research, getting up to construction eight. Uh, I'm not really sure what will be useful here. Probably should have gotten earlier. Matter of fact, we should get that before that. Then we can get the uh, unique items. And then if we get Father Ill Earth out, we can do this. We can do this with our god. And this gives us a ton of demon knights, which might be good with Father Earth as well. But anyway, uh, I think that's pretty much it. Um, really the next... And for that, since we're not doing Galegate and getting the Queen of Elemental Royalty, I'm just going to have her uh, auspects.
gonna be a slog. But uh, oh yeah, the other the other main thing is just that we've got our prophet heading towards this throne. We're gonna get that throne. Help us. And um, we might just sit there and make sure we get a throne or a thing up there. So. I sort of wanted to three red seconds it, but I don't know if we'll have enough for that. I think we absolutely will not actually, so maybe it's better to just sit there. Um, and it's he's, it's not a bad position there, like he can come up and reinforce this way, he can come down and reinforce this way. He can even like, if this breaks you here, he can push up the way. It's not a terrible position for him to just sit there. Um, really, the only thing I'm worried about is just like, I'm still kind of turtling and not like closing in on them, but I think in the next few turns with the air queens, uh, and a few more good trades, we've lost, we're sort of trading 50-50 on battles, but I think that's better for me in the long run because I have more resources, I think. Uh, and he's spending a ton of gems on mantises, it's mainly Arithia that's just like sitting here up to no good. I don't know what he's doing. Uh, he he has a dome, some kind of protection over this, so I tried to do Melancholia on it, but it got blocked. Cost me another, like, 30 gems, so I'm just gonna leave that alone. Try to take it the normal way. Or just go around it, I don't really know. Uh, I, ideally, I'd want to push... We've pushed, uh... Or we had pushed here. pushing down here. Maybe we can get this uh, fort and that'll help. I tried to like, if I can make a band right here, that'd be good. Then I can spread out through here and then slowly enclose around Pythium's fortress. This is all theoretical. And I think I'm going to start with Pythium and finish with Erythia. Because I don't want to... His communions are so annoying. I don't want to, like, deal with that. So I'd rather, honestly, just, like, leave him alone. Beat Pythium. Claim Thrones. Try to win. What are we at with Thrones here? I only have one. Even though I control, like, a lot. I still have to do some of the battles, too. But I think if we get control of the cave system, that'll help. And if we, uh... Just get a little further in this world. But anyway, thank you for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one.